chicken's not fond of the donkey. <laughs> People well, I don't know. this is all nonsense. Why does the chicken always interrupt me? You should see what she was saying about the donkey right at the beginning. You just mentioned the chicken was talking about the donkey. Um, at one point it was like, just keep the donkey over there. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He has no idea. She was very snotty about it. Got it. It's no question that we're living in a human dominated world and at times it feels like we're messing it up. I've often wondered if the opinions of the animals could help us rethink our ways. To find out, I've arranged a focus group with various species to discuss some trending topics. Obviously animals cannot talk, but luckily there's highly skilled individuals who possess the ability to communicate on the behalf of the animals, channeling their spirits. And my spider crushes on my boyfriend. Your spider has a crush on your boyfriend. Yes, she does. She has with the help of these animal mediums, I can talk directly to the animals we share the earth with. I like talking to you like this. I have so much to say, so much more to do with you. Thanks, Lala. Okay. So the President of the United States has suggested that we build this wall. You guys are all probably very familiar with the wall system. What is your perspective on that? All I hear is just keep the coyotes out, Does and I'm for it. Keep the coyotes out. Most walls are not made for to keep people out, but to keep people in. The chicken, you seem like you have something to say. Can I see through it? If you can see through it, then it's just fine. So she would prefer, I think, a fence rather than a wall. So the chicken thinks there should be some sort of wall protection. Yes, that you can see through. That's what she says. I'm sorry, so as long as you can see through. You can through, see your mates on the other side. But walls in general are not good because, again, it restricts you from where you want to go to be free, who you want to see. Are there other sort of systems we can put into place? Or should there just be no systems altogether? Why do you get so hooked up on that wall? It's just because it's kind of a trending topic right now. Recently, society has created this new category. It's called canceled. You're canceled. Some examples of someone that's potentially been canceled, this singer named Chris Brown. Ostracized because he was uh, So you know about Chris yeah, Brown. Yeah. A big one that's trending right now is Kanye West, who has basically like gone off the deep end. Maybe there are other issues that he's having that's not being looked at. They should be pushed out of the flock. So yeah. Kanye should be canceled. You don't get rid of your own kind, but you push them on the edge so they can't hurt anybody. You keep them <laughs> at wing's length, so to speak. They're treating him differently because he has a lot of wealth, but it's not the wealth they should be looking at, but at the man's mind. Oh, here's a pretty good one. Have any of you heard of Takashi 69 No. So we're at a particularly vocal time right now when it comes to people saying what offends them. Within the animal world, is there any offense by terms? For example, for the chicken, it's like, you know, running around like a headless chicken. Don't run around like a chicken with your head cut off? Is that what you're trying to say? She's rather insulted. This one is a bit graphic and I want to apologize, but that there's many different ways to skin a cat suck donkey balls. Why would you say something like that? Why, why? Why would people say such a thing? So you guys Terrible don't. thing to say. Sitting on gold, gold. Sitting on gold, I be rolling in the road. Should there be any sort of system in place of governing the world? If it keeps the donkey over there, yes. 
The chicken's not fond of the donkey. And if you all were to be in a position of running the world, what would you do differently? I wouldn't run the world. We wouldn't run the world. Why? The donkey doesn't know what he's talking about. Just tell him what to do. Do it. Do what has to be done. Do what's necessary. You, as the chicken, disagree with the donkey right now. Hierarchy is nonsense. But doesn't that go against the whole idea of the pecking order to begin with? But we will not dictate each other, and it does not work out. Speak for yourself. She's got attitude, eh? You should see what she was saying about the donkey right at the beginning. If you would really believe in that and you would do what you're saying, then we wouldn't have this conversation. Don't because we Because everybody, why does the chicken always interrupt me? Sorry, what was the chicken gonna say? When we have structure, we have freedom. But freedom means also not to hurt others, right? Hey, how's it going? Come on, come on, donkey. So there's this fun game that humans like to play. It's called Fuck, Marry, Kill. So now we're just gonna collectively decide as we end this on who we should fuck, marry, and kill. So we have Kanye West, we have Ryan Gosling, we have Ariana Grande. Who are you guys gonna fuck? I'm absolutely not interested in that game. I'm not interested in the game. I'm not interested in that question and it's actually a very, very sad question to ask. I would never, ever think about anything like that. As a dog? As me. As you. After sharing some insightful moments with my furry friends, I learned that fences are better than walls, but you can always climb or dig under them. Problematic people should be kept at a wing's length, and chickens and donkeys will not see eye to eye.